Hello, fellow world dwellers. Welcome to the news. We finally have some news on the season four overview and community calendar. We were waiting for it for a long, long time. So let's jump into it and see what Bethesda prepared for us in the coming weeks. So uh, first, Bethesda is introducing the season four to us with the Armor Ace team. Uh, that looks cool. So remember, new season is starting really soon on April 27th. We're gonna be rejoining Armor Ace and the Power Patrol for Fallout 26 Season 4. Uh, we've got quick look into the new scoreboard. Uh, and this time on the scoreboard, we're gonna have some new rewards. Finally, some new rewards, which I'm really, really happy about. So what do we have? We've got new mannequins, not a big fan. Tadpole badges, that's the thing I'm happy about. Uh, Sugar-free Nuka Shine, yeah, going healthy. <laughs> and Red Ant Weight Lager which is nice because it's hard to get rather rad and weight lager. Uh, so you'll also be able to fill your arsenal with new power armor, weapon skins, adorn your appellation abode with new camp items and step into new cosmetic outfits. Here's a rundown on some of the items we forged for season four that we are excited to get into your hands. When it comes to mannequins, Plant some of your favorite outfits with a set of male and female mannequins for your camp. Are you trying to make a store in your camp, guys? Uh, next is the new power armor uh, paint. Finally, we've got more weapon skins, because for, as for now, we've got lots of skins for handmaids and nothing else. Now we've got some more uh, paints for flamer, for getting plasma and lever action and more. So I'm interesting what's behind the more. We will see. Uh, camp objects. Farm your own very honey with the new beehive and then dazzle your visitors with the tree branch chandelier, new wallpapers, floors and even a gold toilet. Gold toilet, great Bethesda. How about the showers? We can have a posh camp with a gold toilet, but we still can't shower in that camp. Seriously, Bethesda, work on that. Next, Nuka Cola Collectron. With the new bot in your camp, you won't need to spend any more time scavenging the wasteland for a refreshing Nuka Cola. And that's nice. Um, backpack flares, show off your love for the Power Patrol by decorating your backpack with action figures of your favorite characters. Tadpole badges, that's something that I'm happy about because uh, getting tadpole badges is a grind and it's so painful to get all of them. So it's nice they're giving us other way to earn them. Fill your tadpole scout sash with more badges by ranking up and then turn them in at the pioneer scouts or vending machines to claim scout team rewards. Yeah, we need more backpacks. I need more backpacks. Then sugar free nuka shine. All the benefits of everyone's favorite party beverage with none of the syrupy aftertaste or sudden memory loss. Yeah, we're gonna get new sugar free nuka shine then you can come to my pizzeria camp and you can have a drink with your favorite pizza. How about that guys? And Red Ant Weight Lager, they take a swing of this buffed up brew to carry an additional 50 pounds for 30 minutes. For all those hoarders guys, that's a good news. And we're gonna get our usual uh, rewards for the season as well, which is consumables, in-game currencies, atoms, perk card packs and more. And also we're gonna have a few bonus rewards for Fallout First members. Um, what's happening in the community calendar? Let's see. We've got 2021 roadmap for Fallout 76 which outlined much of the new content and features that we're working to implement this year. Okay, so what we're gonna get this year? Purveyor sales, hunt for the treasure hunter events, um, anything else? Let's see, let's see the graphic. So, 
um april 27th it's coming locked and loaded update that we're talking about with special loadout camp slot and daily ops expansion one how many of you is excited about daily ops expansion just how many how many of you like daily ops it's it, it's beyond me but okay uh, then in may we're getting some events uh, first weekend of May, we're gonna have Gold Rush weekend, then Hunt for the Treasure Hunter weekend, uh, and remember with this event you're gonna get new rewards, finally they're updating that. I'm just tiny bit annoyed they didn't add any new event, like, can't they be more creative? Why is it always only Treasure Hunter weekend? And, I mean, there's so many possibilities, why is it only this one? Then double score weekend, double XP weekend, and gold rush weekend. That's for the May weekends. Uh, then in June, we've got mole miners. Uh, so we've got double score weekend, uh, script surplus weekend. Then remember June 17 to 21, we've got purveyor sale 25% off. And last weekend will be double score weekend. And then for July, we're gonna get legendary crafting, legendary power armor, and camp feature science. Hmm, I'm wondering what's behind camp feature science. Uh, we're gonna get bonus challenge week for double dailies, um, purveyor Sabbath mystery pick. I don't think anyone is using that to be honest, but that's that. Then we've got hunt for the treasure hunter weekend again double score weekend and we're gonna finish that with gold rush weekend and for this weekend bethesda planned double score dailies so if you didn't finish your season three yet and you know it's coming to an end on april 27th you have a still chance to get all your rewards with this double dailies and as usual the weekend with the bethesda is long it's starting on thursday and finishing on monday so you've got a few extra days um, to finish that off. If you started late or you joined late, then you've got your chance. And as a reminder, any rewards you unlocked on the scoreboard that remain unclaimed when the season ends will slip away with the sense of time. Be sure to visit the scoreboard to scoop up any unclaimed rewards you may have before April 27th. So guys, remember, check your scoreboard. Don't lose those extra stuff from there especially when it comes to uh, gold bullion and perk perk cards and stuff like that claim it guys and i think that's it for that update lots of interesting things will be happening in fallout 76 soon so stay tuned and i'm gonna see you next time see you later excavator bye bye